Well, inside the 3008 Swoopy Dash looks like it's been beamed in from the future. The dash is covered in soft touch plastics and fabric trim, which makes it feel a much more expensive product than you'll find in many SUV rivals. But that's because it is more expensive than cars such as the Seat Ateca. But you do get lots of standard equipment. All models have alloy wheels, climate control, lane departure warning, digital dials, an 8 inch touchscreen, which comes with a digital radio, Apple CarPlay and MirrorLink are standard too, but there's no specific Android Auto. The Allure model adds a reverse in camera and satellite navigation. The GT line gets LED headlamps and wireless smartphone charging, and the GT itself comes with leather seats, a panoramic glass roof, and adaptive cruise control. To see a more detailed breakdown of the equipment levels and how much Carwo could help you save, click on the pop-out link in the top right-hand corner of the screen. In the 3008, the touchscreen controls most of the in-car functions, while a bank of toggle switches make it easier to find your way around the menus. It'd be nice to have some physical buttons for the air conditioning, but at least the on-screen icons are big and clear. The graphics of the infotainment system are pretty good overall. The resolution is sharp and the screen is bright. The touch response is a little more laggy than in some rivals though. The TomTom -tom satellite navigation that you get with the car is fairly easy to use and it's possible to pinch and swipe on the map to preview a route. However, loading times are pretty slow. Adding a waypoint like a petrol station is a bit of a long-winded process too, but at least the car suggests a nearby station when you're low on fuel. All Peugeot 3008s come with a 12.3-inch digital display for the driver. The dials are all easy to read. The graphics change according to the driving modes and they can be customized to show trip or navigation functions. You can get the 3008 with a couple of special driving modes which are supposed to cater to the driver's mood. Choosing from either boost mode or relax mode changes the settings for the on-screen graphics, mood lighting, steering wheel weight and throttle response. If you've got massage seats fitted it'll select your favorite from the five modes and even tweak the built-in perfume dispenser to your own taste. The standard sound system you get with the car is okay but if you're really into your tunes the option hi-fi system by Focal is a really good investment for the £600 asking price. It really lets you make the most of the standard fit DAB digital radio and Bluetooth music streaming functions. If you enjoyed this video please like it and share it and click on our logo to subscribe to the channel. Also click on the video windows to see more of our great videos.